Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. There are wonderful stories in the Bhagavad Gita about uh, uh, what happens when a character who wants to uh, experience more in life uh, meets Krishna and he says, Krishna, show me something about the nature of time so I can experience more in life. Krishna says, uh, okay, oh, but first would you, uh, would you uh, bring me a cup of water from mm -hmm. inside that house over there? Yeah. And so he goes to get a cup of water inside the house and he sees a beautiful woman in there and he talks to her and he really love, finds out he, he's really in love with her. Uh, he spends days and nights there. He marries her. He has a whole bunch of children. Uh, everything comes on. Suddenly there's a huge storm and it, rain comes and the whole house and everybody in it is wiped out except him. And he, when he wakes, when he comes up, uh, gets awakened from, from being knocked out, there is standing Krishna, and Krishna says, where's my cup of water? <laughs> <laughs> there are similar stories I know in the Sufi tales yes. as, as well, and they do seem to be pointing towards the idea that uh, maybe an entire human lifetime can pass in an instant. Exactly, exactly. The, the, the notion of relative time is a very key insight here into, in, into the thinking process, into the, my, the nature of mind itself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, it's, really a, it's really a big hint. And so uh, studying further into the Indian philosophers, including some of the modern ones like uh, um, Rama Maharshi, mm -hmm. who was also uh, had amazing abilities to foresee things outside of space and time. There are stories about when a couple came to visit with him and uh, uh, before they could even say a word, he said, well, you, this problem is solved back at your home in Brazil. Uh, go back to the bench that you were sitting on in the park there and discuss what you dis were discussing there, and there is the answer to your problem. Hmm. Well, these people never told him he was from Brazil, never even mentioned what city they were from or what park bench they mm -hmm. were sitting at, and he saw all this. Mm -hmm. And he and, and he had this kind of a, amazing ability. Uh, and he learned, and this is the secret to yoga of time travel, he learned how to do it. The way he did it was he completely let go of even living as a living being. Mm -hmm. He just said, I am nothing. I mm -hmm. become the great nothingness. And he allowed himself to experience that. Let his nails grow, his hair grow. He, he, he became as, a, a total mystic. As I've heard the story, Ramana Maharshi would go into a meditative state so deeply that rats would come and nibble on his testicles while he's meditating and it didn't seem to bother him. It didn't bother him. Uh, he, he had this remarkable ability and mm -hmm. uh, he was an inverted time travel, mind time travel as I'm saying. The yes. physical part of him which is just a spreckle of dots in the time space cube. <laughs> His mind is going into other spreckles of dots, mm -hmm. into not only in his own body, but into all the other bodies, which is the story of uh, Krishna. Mm -hmm. So uh, that he is beyond time, he's yeah. the Lord of time.